And welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee. I've got you covered like a blanket. Our next guest, our father and daughter entrepreneurship team, who are the co-founders of Norian. Uh, they're here to speak about how it all started and to highlight Norian and what it has to offer its customers. They've got a whole lot to, to offer. So please welcome to the show, Brian and Norin Watkins. Uh, Norin's not here, but they started it together. So they are here together. Welcome, 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 Brian. Yes, thank you. How are you doing? Good, good, good. How did it all start? How did it all begin? I like to find out the, be the beginnings of things, the origins of things. So kick it off. So the origins, it started back, I guess, started back when I was a child. Um, I've always been into fragrances. I've always been into, I, don't know, I just had a nose of smelling good. It always fascinated me, things that smelled good. So yeah. when uh, my mother used to go to, you know, Macy's, all these apartment stores, I used to gravitate towards the boutique section, uh -huh. and just smelling different um, scents and just talking to the person, the representative that was there from the companies and just engaging in chatter. And at the age of 11, I started curating and making my own, um, my own uh, scents. Yeah. But, um, fast, and then, you know, always been in the world, always, I worked a few jobs um, regarding that at department stores um, for a few companies. But fast forward to me finding out I was having a daughter. I wanted to do something and uh, build something for her. Oh, uh, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, of course, that legacy is important. And um, I saw that she had a heavy interest, just like me, in smelling good things and want to smell good. So I said, you know what? Let's do this and bond. And I started a fragrance, um, a luxury home fragrance company, a scent marketing company with her. Because yeah. there's a whole lot of psychology behind scenting and how it triggers and makes you um, feel a certain way and puts you in a different mood. Yeah. So you guys are into the sniffing business. Into smelling oh, yes. good, Smell. smelling beautiful things. That's a beautiful shot, by the way, with you and your daughter there. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Let's she's, bring that. Uh, put that shot how, back up. There, there it is, right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. So, how did she take to it? Oh, she loves it. Like, for example, I have a huge uh, fragrance collection. I have over six hundred. Uh, bottles myself and uh, yeah. she takes my stuff and like wears it and she wants to pick out my scent and yeah. she wants to pick out scent for her to wear and uh, nah she, she she always loves it she's always smelling things and noticing yeah. you know she approves all the scents that we put into either um, whatever product so either the candle or if we're making a uh, diffuser oil into diffuser oil so you know she's the co-founder so she she has just as much say as I do yeah, and that, that diffuser oil is very, very important. You know, a lot of people like to pour a little bit of that into their diffuser and, uh, and get it going. It smells up the whole room and change the mm -hmm. smell of the office, uh, your office yeah. space, anywhere you, you want to be situated. Say it again. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't know there's several different types of um, diffusers, right? The diffuser that we use is a nebulizing diffuser, so it's waterless. It's the medical grade um, diffuser. That's our car diffuser right there. Yeah. It's a medical grade diffuser and where it ionizes the oil and it turns it into micro particles. Oh. So very, very thin. Yeah, it doesn't use any water at all. And our diffuser oil is made to be in waterless diffusers. So it doesn't work as well in water diffusers because again, for you to have um, oil to work in water diffusers, you have to um, mod it a different way. Um, because it, remember, water and oil don't mix. Yeah, look at you. All right, now wait a minute. You can use these oils as a medicinal, for medicinal medicinal purposes too, right? Yes. Yeah, so Open up a the lot sinuses. The that, yeah. So a lot of the stuff we can't, we don't have um, those linear oils that we could have from a medicinal purpose. We take it and usually blend it and make our own, you Woo! know, signature blend. But yes, those are the kind of things you could take and yeah. you just. You want to use the pureness of it, so for medicinal purposes, and you get all the benefits of it. So you can you can take um, like the pure oil in itself yeah. and use it in the diffusers for that medicinal purpose. Wow, what separates your company from a lot of the other companies that are out there? My knowledge and my love for it, and I do. I'm very, very. I research and I do a lot of. Um, uh, chart research and development and I look and I actually um, use higher quality oil than a lot of the companies out there when you I don't want to like you know name or bash anybody but if you go and use their stuff you could tell and especially me I could tell that they use low quality oils I have a passion and a love for it so I do not even want to um, 
disrespect the whole profession by using low quality because I like to smell good. I want people to smell good and I want to pass that passion yeah. on to individuals and my, my customers. Does your daughter go to school with a different scent every day? Uh, <laughs> she chooses, so she has a particular scent that she loves uh -huh. and she uh, sticks to that and wear that. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah. And then, uh, you know, but she could tell you, I'm I'm teaching her and having her more like what the what the scents do to you. Because, again, we're in scent marketing, meaning that um, when you go to those particular um, businesses, if you want to say upscale or luxury hotels or businesses and you walk in, you're like, wow, it smells good in here. That's um, that's scent marketing. So you that 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 scent will stay with you and you normally you will identify and you will um, connect that scent with that particular establishment. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I know a lot of her friends are saying, hey, you know, where did you get that from? Can I get some of that? You know? Yeah. Is she selling yeah. it to a lot yeah, of her no, friends? Definitely. Oh, yeah, de definitely. And then, and then she, uh, reason being, she tried to use, like, again, my, ex you know, the very expensive stuff that I have. So I just like, <laughs> okay, you, know, we need to get yeah. you. you know, we need to get your own thing. No eight-year-old is going to be using a $700 fragrance yeah. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I know so, uh, everybody... Yeah. Everybody's asking you to make them something, right? Yeah, yeah. But I tell them, um, even though I can I can dabble in that, I do it more the in-home luxury. I want that in-home experience. Got it. Um, you know, when you're in your house, you're in your place of comfort. We do it in-home and cars. Yeah, um, I like not, that. I like that. Yeah, we're not, we're not, uh, we don't deal with uh, the perfume. Even though we work with a lot of, perf we work with a lot of perfumers and perfume houses. But we deal, we take the scents and bring it in home or in your house. Uh, you know, I, I like that, that, you know, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of cab companies out there that need a little something in there. I know a lot of uh, people going out on Friday and Saturday nights are going to pick up their girl. They don't want to have a stinky car. So they can come to you yeah. and say, hey, you know, I want you to spark up my car, pimp my ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. With exactly. the fragrance, like, of course. Know, hey. Yeah, they're like, hey, I'm tired of that little tree that's hanging on my, uh, <laughs> my mirror. You know, do, you, know, you know, give me a better scent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what, it, it comes in like a little car diffuser? Diffuser? Yeah. You so, plug it in? Yeah, or? So I, yeah, so our car diffuser comes in uh, a box, and you could put it in your cup holder. So it's ah. portable. You could charge it in your car, and you mm. take the oils and pour it inside, and you got magic. What's next for Norian? Man, there's a lot. So we want to get more out, have businesses realize how important um, scent marketing and scent branding is for in any any business for yeah. how it benefits them and their the customer relationship. And just having more people getting into more houses, getting into more uh, retail stores, and just growing. You know, essentially down the line, I would love to have a school where just having more people, just people knowing about, you know, the whole area of um, perfumery and fragrance and just teaching people. Wow, that's deep. To start a school. Where yeah, I would love it. Because, yeah, because a lot of another thing, too, is that perfumery actually was born in Egypt. I know we associated with, you know, the French, but mm -hmm. it actually was born in Egypt. Yeah. That's good. So you got a little history going on it too. So you're gonna teach some history. Oh yeah, along yeah, yeah. With I'm them. a history. Yeah, you're a history major. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a yeah. Me a history major. History, history person, major that so. got involved in chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> we learned how yeah, to mix I in many different ways. I mix on the turntables. I was in. I was a boxer. I learned how to mix it up in the ring, and then, uh, you know, looking at a person like you, you know how to mix those fragrances together. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I, I help you because I have perfumers that work with me. So they do oh, a lot cool. of mix and I tell them and I tell them kind of like, what am I looking for as well? Because, you know, to get to to have a good, complete scent, it takes many trials and error to get like one good scent. Yeah. And you and your daughter have the nose for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially her. She's very particular. Yeah. yeah <laughs> about yeah. hers. Too. That's good. Where do we go for more information? How do we find you guys? Social media, websites. Oh, yes, we're on both. So uh, social media, our handle is N-O-R-Y-A-N underscore N-Y-C. Uh-huh. And our website is N-O-R-Y-A-M dot com. That's beautiful. Uh, you got to make us something that we can put in the studio here. Uh, you could put one in the control room up there where the Wizard of Oz people are behind the curtain, and you could put one up here in this studio here, and we can uh, 
enjoy the scent of your of your work. Yeah, definitely. Just let me know, and I, you know, I'll sit down and I, you know, I'll create something magical over there. You know, <laughs> and I know, um, I know y'all in the Bronx, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's gonna be magical, but not as magical as Brooklyn. You oh. know what I mean? You know what? You know, you can do. Uh, see, there's something different here. Wait a minute. You can come in and share some of that. But listen, what if you made one for each borough? This is the Bronx scent. This is the Queens, is the see, Brooklyn. See, see, I'm just I, saying. I don't know. I want 10 percent of this. I had that going. I had, you know, I had that going. That's something that's gonna be released. The borough, the borough edition. You yeah, know? yeah, the borough yeah. Edition. There you go. <laughs> hey, listen. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. No, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Again, if anybody have any questions, feel free. Um, contact us and uh, reach out. And give your daughter a big hug. Give her a shout out. Show your love. Show your love. Oh, of course. I want to shout out my daughter, uh, Nora Regina Watkins, who actually named means honor the queen. Uh -huh. uh, she's eight. She's going to be, you know, they count the half. So she's going to be eight and a half soon. She attends Nightingale. She loves her school. Um, you know, unfortunately she couldn't be here cause she's in school in which, Hey, you know, get your learning on. Um, and, uh, Hey, daddy loves you. Yeah. And you know, when she gets home, say, Hey, you know, dad held it down for us. You know, we oh, promote our she company. Gonna, she gonna, she gonna say, she gonna say, what about me? She's like, Hey, <laughs> when I'm going to be there. <laughs> well, you know what? The next time you come, you can come in person into our studios. You can bring her with you. Okay. Oh, definitely. I appreciate that. She'll appreciate that too. Yeah. All right, give us the website one more time. Uh, N-O-R-Y-A-N.com. I see it. And so, so if you're looking for any if you're looking for anything, um, if you want to know how something smells, let us know. Uh, again, we uh, we specialize in businesses, cars, and homes. So there you go. We appreciate you, man. Father and daughter entrepreneurship, Norian and Brian Wakis. Nori, I'm going to Nora, right? Nora. Uh, yes, Nora Walkers, yes. co founders, Noran. I actually named Noran actually means a symbol of love, and that's how names combined. I, I, I kind of knew something like that, but listen, thank you so much, yeah. and good, good luck to you, and God bless you. No, thank you. Appreciate us having, appreciate yeah. having us. All right, we'll All take right. a quick break. I've got more open coming up next, right here. <laughs> 